Today we're going to read the story, I'm and won't, there and don't. What's a contraction? It was written by Brian P. Cleary. He's the author and it was illustrated by Brian Gable. What's a contraction? You'll find the answer inside this book. It's brimming with contractions. Contractions take a couple words or sometimes even three. She is and shrink them into only one as in she's drinking tea. She's. She's the contraction and it shortens up she is. It takes two words and makes them one as in that's mine and his. As punctuation goes, contractions always feature these. They take the place of letters and they're called apostrophes. Take a phrase like does not, does not, a contraction makes it doesn't. Try another, was not. You can shorten it to wasn't. Apostrophes help link the words and replace at least one letter. I'm, as in I'm, very proud that I've helped make this lovely sweater. Oftentimes, contractions join another word to not, like shouldn't it be colder now? And can't I take your spot? I don't think this shoe is mine. Isn't it absurd? All these turn two word phrase into a single word. There, wheel, she's, I'd, can't, I'll, couldn't. Other times, contractions shorten are, or is, or am, as in, I'm sure you're hungry and he's cooking up some ham. And now and then, contractions shorten not just two, but three words. For example, I'd have thought this was the zoo. Would, when it's contracted, is reduced to just a D in words like I'd and she'd, as well as you'd, to name just three. Will can come in handy as a future tense contraction. Shrink the she will right down to she'll. It's smaller by a fraction. She will, she'll. Sometimes you'll find have and had have been abbreviated, like here. I've got a puppy and I'd better get him crated. Aren't 
find contractions, useful words, in speech and writing, don't have any fear in using them. I'm guessing that you won't. So what's a contraction? Do you know? Thanks for reading I'm and won't, there and don't with me.